Hello mga math enthusiasts! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang math ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. For today's video, ni-request itong video na ito ha. Saka marami akong nakikita ang comment dyan sa comment section na sinasabi, Ma'am, bakit sa amin sentence? Paano po ba namin gagawin itong equation? At umihingi pa sila ng example pa ng problem ng problem solving. Sorry. Siguro kasi meron pa silang enrichment activity na hindi pa nila ginagawa. Kaya sana makatulong itong enrichment video natin sa inyo. Pero bago yan, siguraduhin nyo muna na pindutin nyo na ang like button. Yung mga hindi makapag-like dyan ha, baka wala pa kasi kayong account sa YouTube, gumawa na kayo. Sayang naman yung like ninyo. At syempre, kung bago ka pa lang din sa aming YouTube channel, hala, nahuhuli ka na kasi marami na kaming pinagsamaan. Pero okay lang, habol ka. Pindutin mo na rin dyan ang subscribe button. At syempre, i-hit mo na ang notification bell para lagi kang updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na ba? Sure ka? Nagawa na lahat to? Okay na. So, let's start. Okay, number one. The number of bottles B varies directly as the amount of time H the machine is working. So, kung mapapansin nyo, ang nakalagay dito varies directly, which means direct variation na ito. Pag sinabi natin direct variation, ang equation niya ay Y is equal to K, X. Natatandaan? So, ganun lang din ang gagawin, no? Ito, ito kasi binabasa natin as Y varies directly as X. So, itong Y natin, since ito yung sinabi natin B na varies directly, siya yung magiging nandito sa side na to. Equals to, lagi tayong may constant uh, variation, K, and then kanina daw siya nagbavary, K, H. Ayan. Mga anak ha, yung mga letters ko, tingnan nyo, iba yan sa mga letters nyo ha. Sundin nyo lang yung procedure. Okay, next. The weight of a man on Mars, which is W, varies directly as the weight of a person on Earth. So, meron kayong W and meron kayong E. Bawal tayong magbaliktad ha. Sino ang nagvavary directly sa weight? Si W. Kaya si W muna siya equals to... K, E. Okay, yan lang yun. Ganyan lang sa paggawa ng equation. How about number 3? The amount of N, oh, the amount of N, the amount of water, which is N, yung dinamit kong variable, in human body is directly proportional to its weight. Okay, so, pag directly proportional, ganun din siya, di ba? Direct variation din siya. So, you will have here N, is equal to K W. Okay. For number four, Boyle's law. Boyle's law. Sorry. State that when gas is under pressure, volume varies inversely as its pressure. So, yung volume daw varies inversely. So, inverse variation tayo. Alam naman natin na pag inverse variation, pag y varies inversely to x, you have k over x. Okay. So, yan yung gagawin natin. Alin ba yung y natin dito? Ang y natin, itong volume, which is also y yung letter natin, nagkataon. So, y is equal to yung constant variation natin na k over, ano ba yung x natin dito? Yung p. Kasi yung volume natin nakasalalay kay p. So, ayan na yun. And then, for number 5, the rate of the car C is inversely proportional to the time H at a constant distance. Ganon din siya. So, we have here uh, C is equal to, dahil inverse siya, ganito ulit yung form niya. So, yung K mo nasa taas and then you have H. Okay. Ayan lang yung sa uh, mga situation na kailangan yung gawa ng equation. Now, for problem solving, ito na ang ating part 2. Solve the following and show your solution. O madali lang to, akala nyo lang mahirap. If y varies directly as x 
and y is equal to 8, when x is equal to 4, find y if x is 6. Kung mapapansin nyo, varies directly to, ba? Which means direct variation tayo. At ang direct variation natin ay y is equal to kx. Okay? Wherein you have to get first yung k para masolve mo ito. Okay? Pag nahanap mo yung k, anong gagamitin mo para mahanap mo yung k? Yun yung unang given. Oh, substituting this to the formula, y is equal to kx. So, solve for k higher, y is 8. Ayan, sinabi sa given, is equal to k, and then you have 24. So, k times 24. So, para makuha yung k, divide mo siya by 24. Okay, so this will become k is equal to 8 over 24. Pero, 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 pwede pa tong i-lowest term. Ang lowest term ng k mo ay divisible by 8, di ba? So, 8 and then 8. So, this will be 1 over 3. So, ang k mo ay 1 over 3. Ito ngayon yung gagamitin mo para masolve yung y mo dito. O, let's see. So, y is equal to k x. May value ka ni k na 1 third. And then, yung x mo ay 6. So, solve. 1 times 6 is 6 divided by 3. O, what is 6 divided by 3? 2. O, yun yung answer. Ganun lang yun kadali. Akala mo lang mahirap. Analyze lang, ha? For number 2, the payment of the electric bill B is directly proportional to the electric consumption C. If the household pays 1,200 in consuming 100 kilowatt hour, well, how much, sorry, will it pay consuming 100 kilowatt hour? So, directly proportional, y is equal to kx din yan. Pero ang gagamitin natin, kung ano yung binigay nito. So, we have here b is equal to k and then c. So, ang b natin, kailangan makuha muna natin yung k ha. Ang b natin dito ay 1, 2. So, b is equal to kc. 1, 2 is equal to, yung k is missing, di natin alam, and then you have 100. Okay, to find for k, you divide it by 100, and then 100. So, your k is 12, di ba? Ayan, 12 na lang siya. So, itong k natin, is substitute na natin ngayon, to get b, you have 12 times, oh, sorry, 150. Oh, magkano ba bayaran nila? What is uh, 12 times 150? Sige nga, isolve ninyo. Ilan yan? That's 1,800. So, ang babayaran nila kapag ang, ang kinonsume nilang kilowatt hour ay 150 is 1,800 pesos. So, that's it. Ganun lang siya kadali ah. Uh, Okay, for number 3, if P is inversely proportional to Q and P is equal to 54 and Q is, ano to? Q is, ano to? 18. And Q is 18. Find P when Q is 6. Oh, ayan, madali lang din to. Ay, sorry. Kaya lang, ano to ha? Inversely proportional. Wait. So, enter ko lang dito. Kaya, mababago ang inyong formula. Ang formula nyo na ngayon ay y is equal to k over x. Pero, ang y natin dyan ay letter p. So, p is equal to k over, ano ang x natin? q. And then, solve for k para masolve natin ito. Ang ating p ay, sulat ko dito, p is equal to k over q. Ang p mo daw dyan ay 54 equals k and then you have 18. Oh, what is 54 times 18? So, 54 again times 18 is ilan? So, your k is, pag multiply mo yan, sige na nga, multiply ko na dito. 54 times 18, you have 32, carry 3, 40, and then plus 3, 43, and then you have 4, 5, 2, 7, 972. Ito ngayon yung K mo. Ito yung gagamitin natin para naman masolve ito. 
So, again, we have here P and then K over Q. Pero meron ka ng value ni K na 972. I-divide mo yan by 6. So, 972 divided by 6. Sige nga, isolve nyo dyan. Tingnan nyo kung tama yung magiging sagot ko. 972 divided by 6 mentally, that is 162. So, eto na ngayon yung P mo. Check nyo ha, kung tama. And then, for number 4, the number of days D to finish a certain job is inversely proportional to the number of persons P, K, on the job. If 16 persons, sorry, if 16 persons required 9 days to finish the job, how long should it take for 64 persons to, to finish the job? Okay, so, inverse ulit. We have here, y is equal to k over x. Pero ang y natin dyan ay d equals to k over, ano ang x mo? p. And then, we solve for k. Ang k natin, o ano muna yung d natin? So, substitute muna tayo dito. Plug in lang muna natin. k, 16 persons. So, yun yung p natin. So, k over... 16. And then, you have 9. Dito. To solve for K, eh, di multiply mo lang to. 9 times 16. What is 9 times 16? 16 times 9, 54, carry 5. 9 plus uh, 5, you have 144. So, your K is 144. Okay, ito na ngayon yung gagamitin natin para ma-solve natin ito. So, hinahanap natin ngayon yung P. And then, you have K as 144 divided by 64. Okay, ilan kaya yan? Kung mapapansin nyo, parang decimal lang magiging sagot natin dyan ha. Okay lang na maging decimal lang sagot. Kagaya nung sa dati kong video na ginawa. So, we have here 2.25 days. Or, pwede naman din siyang infraction 2 and 1 over 4 days. O, kahit alin dyan, pwede, ha? And then, for number 5, we have at the at a content voltage in an electric current, I varies inversely as the resistance R. If the current is 80 amperes when the resistance is 540, find the current when the resistance is 300 ohms. So, dahil inverse ulit yan, y is equal to k over x pa rin. Since we have these values, ang i natin, ang y, eto, equals to k over r. Kasi siya yung x natin. Now, having this one, isubstitute muna natin yung mga given to solve for k. Laging k ang inuuna, ha? So, ang i natin ay 80 equals to k over ang r natin ay 540. Oh, so, what is 80 times sa 540? Sino magsasolve dyan? Pakisolve nga at pakicheck kung tama ang sagot ko pag sila ay aking minultiply. Ha? This will be k is equal to, minumultiply yan ha, uh, 43,200. Ito ngayon yung k, no? Ngayon, kukunin natin, ano hinahanap yung current kapag 300 ohms. So, hinahanap natin yung I. Ang K natin ngayon ay 43,200. So, ano ngayon ang ating resistance? 300. O, i-divide natin yan. What is? So, 43,300 divide, ah, 200 divided by 300. Uh, that's 144. So, eto na yung sagot nyo. Ayan ha, lagyan nyo na lang yung mga unit of measure for your final answer. Ngayon, kung natutunan mo ang video na ito at nakatulong tong enrichment video natin, i-comment yan dyan sa baba ha. Huwag kalimutang mag-comment. At syempre, kung hindi naman kayo busy, i-check nyo naman yung Facebook page natin at i-follow nyo. Okay? Let's spread the love of math. See you on my next video. Bye!